The Great Falls Public School District will reveal all budgeted funds for the 2017-2018 fiscal year at their board meeting Tuesday night at 5.30. Montana Public Schools rely on both state and local taxes for funding, and the most recent legislature shifted portions of the funding burden to the local taxpayers. GFPS received $1.5 million less than they were expecting from the state this year. However, with all the budgeted funds combined, including the recently approved $98.8 million infrastructure bond, Great Falls taxpayers will be collectively paying an additional $11.8 million in total this year. $8.8 .8 million of that increase is from the infrastructure bond. Between the state shortfall and the infrastructure bond, a $100,000 homeowner will have to pay approximately $307.22 per year. That's around $64 more than last year. We're required to uh, fund schools at 80% with the majority of that money coming from the state and some from the local. At the state level during the legislature, they decrease the amount coming from the state so that put it on the local taxpayers to make it up so that we reach that 80% level. The public board meeting will be held at 530 tomorrow evening at the school district building.